Hi all, Hal here with more Space Engineers, and uh, we've been doing a little bit of work <laughs> off camera. We talked about some of this last time. Uh, we'll walk you through what we have been doing, what we've gotten done, and uh, what the plans are for today. First, we have to get started, so let's go. So happy Wednesday everybody, hopefully you're having a fantastic week and a uh, terrific Wednesday thus far. Alright, so one of the things we had talked about last time we were together was doing something on the front of the ship. Well, this is what we did. We put in a bunch of oxygen farms, um, mainly because of the fact that I don't want to have to rely on ice being the only way to provide O2 for the ship when it's in deep space just in case we run into a situation where, well, you know, there's none available. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I did leave a space open up here. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to add a couple more conveyor blocks in, and then we're going to probably do a turret. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do like a missile turret or a Gatling turret, maybe some of the, the compact turrets. I haven't decided yet, but we're definitely going to put a couple of compact shirts in over here on the connectors, mainly because of the fact that I want to have, you know, at least some basic defenses. Like I said, we're not planning on doing anything ridiculously uh, heavy weapon, but it would be nice to have the ability to defend ourselves sometimes. So, uh, yeah. Now, the other thing that I did is I went ahead, added in a couple of oxygen tanks over here, and then we uh, changed the, the piping system up just a little bit. Basically just, you know, running the, the piping through, and I may change this again to move this connector over to the, uh, the exterior of the build so that it doesn't have this little S turn, but I like, I thought, it's like, uh, it's kind of cute, you know, so I figured I'd leave it there for now. All right. So, big changes in the game so far. Um, one of the mods that we use, and specifically the, um, the compass HUD, has had a rather large functionality change. Now, I was under the impression before that one of the updates that Keen had done, um, specifically on the new beds, had added in functionality where um, when you got into a cryopod or, or a bed during the night portion of the game it would turn time acceleration on until sunrise uh, it was actually a part of the mod for the the compass hut so the mod author has gotten a lot of feedback from players and has removed that functionality from the mod so if you were uh, using it or didn't want to use the mod because of that particular feature that feature has been removed so uh, yeah that is a thing all right so for the ship, what we've done is I've, uh, back here in the cargo area, the last time we were together, we were talking about some design questions and some choices. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and taken the blocks that were out. We put in a couple of uh, oxygen tanks and left them unwelded to give us a slightly different look. So that allows us to connect things through. And it looks, it kind of looks like it's a, um, like a, a, some form of vegetation where it would actually move things around if it needed to. So basically, this look, kind of looks like it could retract, grab the next one, and, and shovel it out and have the uh, the rest of them kind of rotating around. So let me know what you think about that. It's, um, you know, I kind of like the way that that came out because the, the, the lines on it, it opens things up a little bit keeps everything connected but doesn't overpower that space because we've got a lot of block face here and I'm kind of uh, wanting to cut down on this and I may even trim this down a little bit I haven't decided yet the other big update is we have gone ahead and started welding up the connector pipes I've actually added a new line of piping here in between the uh, in betwixt the upper <laughs> <laughs> uh, hydrogen pa uh, hydrogen tanks, sorry. We've gone ahead and welded in the engines. 
and we've welded up the refinery so you can now see what those look like in place and I have to say I'm kind of happy with the way that those have turned out that I like the detailing that it adds and I'm glad we decided to place them the way that we did so we'll, we'll see how that works out once everything is set up and done I'm going to be probably working on some of the armoring up because we, we need to get some of the armor on this stuff sorted out and in place so what we'll probably be doing today is working on these um, I haven't come up with a design motif yet that I'm that I like but I'm thinking for the most part this is probably going to stay pretty open over here uh, we will just have some cross bracing that we need to place we'll see how that all works out uh, let's see we've already looked at the piping on oh, the exterior We've got the piping down here done. Still need to figure out what we're going to do for the underbody. Um, but for the reactor room, now I had a couple people asking. Let me see if I've got, nope, I don't have any plates. Let me go grab some plates. I had a couple, a couple of people asking, you know, what were we going to do with the, uh, the engine room? Why did I go with the small reactors instead of the large reactor? And basically what it comes down to is just for a, a style choice. So what we did, let's get over here really quick and I'll show you because we've made some changes in here, which you're going to probably see right away. And I'll walk you through this here really quick. All right. So one large reactor puts out the same amount of power as 20 small reactors. Now the reactor elements or the reactor components specifically match up in line these re also require um, the superconductors because it requires 100 superconductors where these do not require superconductors so if you're going to build 20 small reactors you get the same power as one large reactor but you can do it for a little less resource not much less but a little bit less so that is something to keep in mind if you are uh, looking for, you know, a good power output. But we're only using 13 of them. Oh yeah, I forgot I did weld that up. Um, because I like the way that the lines ended up working on this. I thought that was kind of an interesting design choice. And then we have the large reactor here uh, at the end of that run and then what we've done is we've actually put in a small observation lounge and that's probably going to be our our uh, full-on engineering area we'll put some terminals over here well that way you have the observation area so we'll put uh, let me see here let's go so we'll put you know something like say a desk over here or even a couple of desks over here and then we'll use some of the uh, the consoles which I think these are spacebars consoles I have to remember I have to oh look at you you did add them thank you thank you for adding those we now have roof elements that we can hang down nice See, I had seen some updates, but I hadn't actually taken a look to see everything that was updated. So I am actually very, very happy with those. Let's see. Oh, look at you, corner panel. You have all the stuff, huh? All right, so how do you look? I'd love to... Be able to are you not huh small grid so small grid version large grid version and then we have the roof mount displays three large three small on top one large on the bottom or one large on top and three small on the bottom and that actually I think is going to cause me to change some of the design of the bridge actually but um, yeah, so we're, we've got some things to get done. I want to go ahead and get some of this stuff out here welded up. And as you can see, that room is completely airtight. So it is its own thing. We were using the passageway airlock door. 
and we'll need to get this all welded up at some point and I'm still having trouble deciding what I want to do with the aft end of this ship I may rework part of this I still haven't decided yet though for now let's go ahead and just do that just to uh, to get that kind of wrapped up yeah I'm definitely gonna have to sit down and work on the design of this portion sometime over this week All right. okay so I have to I have to say though so far I'm liking the overall feel of the ship the uh, the shape seems to have been seems to be coming along a little bit I'm liking the way that it's developing we did also remove some of the roughed blocks that we had just those, those uh, the square placeholders so now everything is a little bit closer to final design um, yeah All right, so come up here really quick show you the other piece we did go ahead and put the that holographic projector in so now when you are here you'll be able to see what we're going to do is we're going to take a blueprint of the ship that we're building and that will end up being projected where uh the the heavy load lifter is at right now and that way you'll be able to see the ship while you're sitting in the console it's not going to have like a real time update for damage or anything like that we're not doing any of the mods for that but it is set up so that you'll be able to do that if you choose to or if you're using the um one of the radar systems that uses the holographic projectors to give you a, a 3D representation of like the asteroids and stuff that are around you. That'll kind of be kind of, that would actually be kind of cool. All right, so let us see what we're doing here. All right. So I was doing a little bit of just basically playing around with some of our uh, our shapes here to see what we could come up with. I actually like the way that that works out. Huh. That worked out better than I expected, honestly. I actually like that. Interesting. Okay. So we need to figure out what we're going to do for skinning on this side. Because basically what I did over here before is we did something along these lines in the corner. Come on. There we go. And then for here, we just, you know, did something along that design and so what I'm wondering here is if we go there that's actually using the uh, lower end of the two-part ramp meteor storm inbound I'm wondering if we went this way with it. I'm gonna like this or not. I'm, the way I'm looking at it so far, I'm not thinking I'm gonna like this. What we'd have to do is not. So, what if we did. something like this instead? If 
what did we need to do to get this to work here? And I guess we could. Do something like oh, come on. Something like this, maybe? That's what that looks like. That might work. Because then we would just run, basically just run these all the way back. And then do the same here. Uh, hey look, missile cargo. How awesome would that be? Have a missile that is actually a cargo deployment system. Cargo missiles. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so... Let's see what you're gonna look like. Kinda liking that. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that. Right. And that gives us a flat space that if we want to build on top of it later, we'll be able to. So I do think that is going to work fairly nicely. Right. Make sure we have all these in. You are done, you are done. Yes, okay. And we're going to do this on all of them. And what we're going to do is we're basically just going to go ahead and recreate what we've done in the other sections. All the way through here, get all of this in, we'll get it welded up. Now I do think I'm going to leave the center, uh, that center run, unwelded. We'll see how that works out. So let me go ahead and get this stuff in here. And uh, I will we'll do a quick cut and I will uh, bring you all right back. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll be right back. And we're back. Okay, so we went ahead and got the rest of these plates in and welded up. Or I should say these blocks in and welded up. Um, and I, I do like... The, the way that that comes off because it looks like there's a uh, like maybe a cover plate or something that fits in there so maybe what we'll do is if we play around let's get this out of here because we're not working with those yet we're looking for you so what I'm thinking that we might do is we may do something like this. Uh, what do you need for you? You need interior plates, really? I thought you were steel plates. Are we out of wow, we're completely out of hydrogen too? Okay. So first things first, let's uh let's grab those. And then we're going to get those out. We're going to keep a couple of them on us here. And then we're going to grab a couple hundred of those. Because I'm kind of curious to see what this looks like. Hmm, excuse me, hiccups. All right. No, you know what? I'm actually liking that. Maybe for the center, actually. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking I like that better for the center. Uh 
That almost looks like a cable run. Do this though. Take these out really quick. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to end up using those for a uh, cable run design. So for those who don't know what I'm talking about, um, in in uh, like office buildings or industrial buildings, when you need to run cabling anywhere, you'll sometimes see these trays up in the roof, and uh, that's what these that's what I'm thinking about using these for. Right. It'd be nice to actually have cable runs. And we do one more there. I think I like the fact that the, uh, the slotted windows, because of the way that they they fit in here. Oh, see, we could even do that. Where we go, like so. And then... Let's see, how do you... How do you look? Yeah, I actually like that. Yeah, I'm thinking I like that. Okay, so if we end up with those... Hmm... I do like that look, I think. Which actually gives me an idea for in here. Where can we get away with so we could do something like this? What I'd want to do is have this basically be able to uh, change. I mean, I guess I could go ahead and just do something like this. that look like it's back here anyway mm -hmm. okay that actually will work for what I'm wanting. Alright, kind of liking the way that works. Now one of the things that I had thought about doing, and I may still do actually, because what we could do, take you out of there. Alright, let's take that out
Mm, I need that to come out once. So let's grab the airlock door. And what we do is we have you come out one. Come up. Any way we can get this to to work the way we want it to. Oh no. I mean, I guess I could. I could cheese it. Which is where we do something like this. Oh, it's not gonna let me place it there. Which is actually kind of surprising. I'm, I have to admit, I'm rather surprised that it won't let me do it that way. But that's okay. So what we can do then is we just... Ah, no. Do it this way. If it doesn't want to cooperate, we'll make it cooperate. So now you can come up. Can I not get in there? Uh, not so if we do So we would re no, I don't want to respawn. Thank you. So we would have to place it that way. Hmm. So getting down, that's not a problem, but getting up is a problem. I mean, I guess I could just... Do it this way. I need to go weld that up really quick. All right. Anyone who's been here before knows that I will jump around between designs quite a bit. All right, let's get you welded up because I need to check to see if this is going to be a problem. Yeah, see, we'd have to crouch. Everything else is good? I'll go. So if we... We would have to take it in actually at that level. where we would need to go with it. It'd have to be at that level there. I wonder if we can get away with doing this. Alright, so 
if we did. Um, can we have you come down? Can we get away with then having you? So you'd be able to run it straight back this way. Alright, so what if we did this instead? So if we had he there, okay, so there's no longer a problem with that. Try that again. <laughs> Alright, so then if we go. Oh, uh, you're blocking there. So we'd have to at least bring it to there. Oh no, you know what we can do? Let me get away with that. Really? I'm actually surprised by that. Wonder if, it, if we did it. to bring this one out one more I am really surprised it won't let me place that off of there oh all right so for now we'll leave it like this We're gonna. If I take that out, eh, it sticks. <laughs> we'll leave that alone. All right. So I think that is probably gonna do it for us today. Um, I've got a few design things that I need to work through before I go too much further. And we're going to weld you up. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, I do think that's going to do it for us today. I want to thank you all for stopping in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to throw them down in the section below. And if you uh, have any feedback, you know, throw that down there as well. <laughs> oh, and if you're new to the channel, you haven't done so already, or you just want to do something nice for me today, because it is a glorious day outside, we may as well pass on the, uh, the good vibes to everybody. You know, make sure you smack that uh, subscribe. If you want to be kept up to date with what's going on around here, be sure to ring the bell. And on that note, I am going to get the hell out of here because, well... It is the middle of the night for me, and I've still got about three hours before I can upload this video. So <laughs> it's going to be a busy day. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic week, and we will see you back here on Friday for more Space Engineers. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. How about if we do something like this to frame that in? We can do... 
Oh, would I maybe do something like that? Because then you can see there, or do I want to be able to see? I think I want to be able to see that. So I'll probably do a two by two window there. Don't know what we're gonna do with these guys yet. We still need to figure out if we're gonna pipe that stuff in or not. All right, well, it gives us something to it gives us something to think about for a little while. Ugh, still so much left to do. 